This is the machine gun 7.62 millimeter M60. It is an automatic weapon. It is gas operated, air cooled, belt fed and weighs 23 pounds with its organic bipod. This gun has a maximum effective range of 1,100 meters and a muzzle velocity of 2,750 feet per second. It is fed from a disintegrating belt. The M60's cyclic rate of fire is approximately 550 rounds per minute. Its sustained rate of fire is 100 rounds per minute and at the rapid rate 200 rounds per minute. The caliber of the gun and the 7.62 millimeter ammunition conform in all respects to standards adopted by the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The gun fires three types of ammunition, ball, tracer, and armor piercing. It is linked for field use in a ratio of four ball, one tracer. The gun is normally fired from a bipod, as here, or a tripod mount but it can be fired from the hip, on the move and in close quarters. The bipod provided for the machine gun M60 is held in place by the flash suppressor. The bipod legs are unfolded by pulling them rearward and lowering them. They automatically lock. The bipod legs are extended by pulling down on the bipod feet. Loading of the machine gun is accomplished with the cover down and the bolt forward. The assistant gunner places the first round of the ammunition belt over the belt holding pole. The gunner then pulls the cocking lever handle to the rear, fully loading the gun. The cocking lever handle is moved forward and the gun is ready to fire. The gun is aimed by means of front and rear sights. The front sight is of a fixed blade type. The rear sight is of a folding leaf type and is capable of quick adjustment. Range settings are made by moving the rear sight slide up or down. Windage adjustments when zeroing are made by turning the traverse knob at the lower left hand side of the rear sight. When the gun is zeroed, you are ready to fire. Put the safety on fire. Aim and pull the trigger. The gun will continue firing as long as the trigger is held back or until the ammunition belt is exhausted. The M60 is fully automatic. Short bursts can be fired if the trigger is released after each burst. When the trigger is released, if the ammunition belt is not exhausted, the bolt will remain to the rear. With the bolt to the rear, the gun is cocked and ready to be fired. To unload the gun, the gunner opens the feed cover and the assistant gunner removes the belt from the feedway. Close the feed cover and let the bolt move forward by pulling the trigger. If all of the ammunition has been fired, the bolt will be forward. The chamber will be empty. Before reloading, the gunner raises the cover, knocks the remaining link from the feed plate, pulls the bolt to the rear, closes the cover, and allows the bolt to go forward. He then reloads. The tripod mount for the M60 allows controlled traverse and search by using the traversing and elevating hand wheels. Each gun has a spare barrel group. The barrel group should be changed after firing the sustained rate of fire for 10 minutes or the rapid rate of fire for 3 minutes. This will help prolong the life and maintain the accuracy of the barrel. To change the barrel, the gunner raises the barrel locking lever. 
the assistant gunner withdraws the barrel by grasping the bipod legs and inserts the new barrel into the receiver. Now the gunner lowers the barrel locking lever. The barrel change is completed. Barrels are changed in a matter of seconds. Frequent changes avoid overheating of the barrel and increase the effective sustained fire capability of the gun. Saving your barrel may save your life.